hopefully you're having a wonderful week and as you can see as the title i'm cooking popcorn yes because we are going to be watching a movie and we're going to have a little um peppermint tea with watermelon uh watermelon parade and we're going to pour it over ice we're going to have the ice and the peppermint tea mixed with the hawaiian i mean the, um, with the watermelon of course you take the seeds out <laughs> so anyway uh, and i was thinking what else can go with that so we can you know have the drink which that's the drink which is the hawaiian i mean the, um hollow um watermelon drink with peppermint tea in it okay that's what we're gonna drink and then now i was trying to figure out okay what else can i put with that and i thought about popcorn but then not just any popcorn what would make it where they would want to you know eat this popcorn and also you know incorporate vegetables and stuff so i thought about okay broccoli so i picked up chopped broccoli from the frozen section and i just took like hmm, a little bit and I sauteed it in oil. You can do it in olive oil, whatever oil you like to use. And just a little bit. And the fun part about the broccoli is it's already chopped. Okay, this is I love this because it's already chopped. You can add lemon too if you want to, but not for this uh, dish because it's already got popcorn going. Like I've already popped the popcorn. And this is the kind of popcorn I used. I used by a cup and I popped it in oil. The seeds are gonna look like that at first. And then you gotta put it in oil and you know put it in pop in a popcorn popper. Or you can put it in popcorn popper. I don't know how you pop the popcorn, but um, put it in popcorn popper, but it's gonna look like that at first. Then it's gonna be like this. It should turn like this. Now what I did is took, you're probably wondering, what is that? <laughs> okay, I took John Morrell Smoky Ma Maple Bacon, Wrath Black Hawk. Now this bacon is not my cup of tea. I like turkey bacon, but my nieces and nephews and all of them, they love this kind of bacon. So that's why I have it in the freezer sometimes. Um, I'm trying to figure out a way to get them on turkey, but sometimes I have to give them a little bit of what they want, and then, but I'm giving them very little of what they want, as you can see here. Um, but you get some of this, you cut some, I mean, you cook some of it, uh, cook some, and you're going to find when you cook this, it's going to shrink a little bit as you're cooking in the oil. You don't have to put a lot of oil. You can put a little bit of oil. You can use um, olive oil or whatever you want. But you're going to find that it's going to get really, really uh, small if you don't watch it. So don't have the fire up too high because this bacon, it will burn in a flash. Okay, so put it on medium to low heat. And just kind of let it brown it should turn brown like this this is when it's done and yeah it's going to be crispy so once you get it like this then you just go ahead and take a knife or either take your finger and just break it off and it's going to be very crispy it's, it's going to be very crispy and you just go all the way around on the popcorn and put it on top of the popcorn okay now, after you put the popcorn, I also have some celery here. And I haven't finished cutting the celery yet, but let me tell you what else you're going to need. You're also going to need some nacho cheese, which this nacho cheese is going to go in the middle here. Okay. And the kind of nacho cheese is nacho cheese sauce. Just any nacho cheese sauce that you want to use. It's very fattening, but we're not going to have a lot going here. 
we just going to put uh, up to the rim here. And that should be enough for them to dip like that. You can put a spoon here so that they can, you know, dip back and forth. And I'll show you that. Um, now what I'm going to do is put all the nacho cheese in there. It's about a half a can. You don't have to put as much as I'm doing. But that's what I'm doing there. And you can put the spoon in there. And we're going to add broccoli to it. Just pull the broccoli in there. And the bacon is already over here. Okay. Next, we're going to you need like two stalks of celery and then chop them up really really fine and I'm not going to use all of this I'm just going to use a few of these so chop up what you need how much you want to put in there you don't have to put a lot of celery just something to make it colorful and make it where they want to eat it Now I started out like like that, and then now I'm cutting them into little bitty pieces like this. Okay, I have a few here that I've cut, and as you can see, I'm not putting much. This is about how much I'm using, but you can use all of this if you want, but I'm just using only a little bit. But if they want more, you'll have more left over. And you can put this in a freezer bag, this um, celery, you can put this in a freezer bag and then just put it in the um, freezer and let it freeze for the next time. Or you can just put it in the refrigerator. Okay, basically what they do is, what you do is you just mix this up in here, just like this. Mix it really good. And then what they're going to do is take their own individual spoon and they put the popcorn on and the bacon and they dip it into this like that. Okay? That's all you do. Now if you're an individual and you're watching a movie and you want to do it like do it a little bit different. I mean, if you're individual watching a movie, you can use a bowl. Just take some, fill it up with the same ingredients, and you can pour the cheese over the popcorn, okay, with the broccoli and the celery. But I'm just doing it this way because this is more neater for them. And of course you're going to need napkins because they are definitely going to dig into this. <laughs> okay. Alright, so that's our little snack that we're going to have um, with the movie. And as you know, I was talking about the peppermint tea. Let me open this up and talk about it a little bit. This is pure peppermint, natural caffeine free um, peppermint. Uh, tea and it has 20 individual bags, but you only use one to uh, make the tea. You just boil it, and then once once the tea becomes, you know, it's like a light color, like green color. Then what you do is pour it over ice. Or what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix it with the Halloween, I mean a watermelon. <laughs> I can't get it out. Watermelon. We're gonna mix it with the watermelon puree and put ice in it. Uh, ice, watermelon, and peppermint tea. So that's what we're gonna do. And I thought I would share it with you. Hopefully you can make that and tell me how you like it. And you have a good week and a good weekend. Bye bye.